Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. So glad that you could join us once again today. There are so many different disciplines when it comes to the practice of, of medicine and healing. There's traditional medicine, there's uh, holistic medicine, there's all sorts of disciplines. Our guest in studio today chose the discipline of chiropractic. Uh, she's practicing now in uh, Kentucky, and uh, she's a graduate of Moorhead State University with a science degree in biology, and uh, and also a graduate uh, in the practice in chiropractic at Logan University in St. Louis. Uh, our guest in studio today is Dr. Sarah Horsley, uh, known affectionately as Dr. Sarah. How are you doing today, doctor? I'm doing great. How about you? Great, great. Thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I mentioned that there are so many, uh, so many different disciplines in, in, in medicine. Now, you received a degree in science uh, in biology from Moorhead State University in Kentucky. Uh, had you planned on going into traditional medicine uh, at the outset, or was uh, chiropractic always your goal? I actually wanted to do the traditional route in the beginning. That was always the main goal. So I knew, yeah, I needed a biology degree for that. So that's why I chose the biology degree. Yeah. Chiropractic really wasn't decided on it until I was a senior at Moorhead. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened at, as, uh, at Moorhead your senior year that kind of led you down the path of chiropractic? Well, I had been shadowing. I had shadowed pretty much every specialty there was from geriatric to psychiatry, internal medicine, surgery, and I just didn't really feel a real connection with it. Um, I really liked the hands-on approach of chiropractic and healing people with your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know much about chiropractic at the time, but my dad happened to be seeing a chiropractor then for some uh, foot issues and low back pain. Mm -hmm. And during one of their meetings, he just casually brought up, you know, I was kind of struggling trying to figure out, you know, my path, my future. And she was like, well, have her come shadow me. This sounds like this might be right up her alley. Mm -hmm. So she took me out to lunch. She kind of told me about chiropractic and what she did. And I shadowed her, watched her adjust my dad and a few other patients. And I just absolutely fell in love with it. And mm -hmm. it was like an instant connection. Like I knew that this is what I wanted to do the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Now, um, during this uh, this decision-making process, had anyone put any uh, any bugs in your ear one way or the other saying, well, you know, I, I don't know about chiropractic. You might want to go the traditional route or vice versa. I don't know about traditional medicine. Maybe you ought to look at chiropractic or some, uh, some other alternative form of medicine. Was, were there any uh, people touting pros or cons either way? Pretty much everybody was really supportive. It was just my decision. I, my mom is a nurse, so I grew up around the traditional medicine. So that's what I was used to. So yeah. Growing up, I really didn't know much about chiropractic, and honestly, I didn't know much about it, just what she had told me up until chiropractic school. Um, but it was just that instant connection. I felt in my heart that that's what I was supposed to do. Once you decided that you wanted to pursue a career in chiropractic, what led you specifically to, to St. Louis? Well, that was the school that uh, the doctor that I shadowed, that's what she went to. And she was like, oh, okay. this, is, this is my favorite. And uh, we went and toured the campus, and I, just, I fell in love with the city. I fell in love. The campus was absolutely beautiful. They were very warm and inviting, and it just it felt like a second home to me. I say so. Um, you're in uh, you're in St. Louis now, and and you're uh, mm -hmm. a brand new chiropractic uh, student there at Logan University. Were there any any specialties, or is do does chiropractic have specialties, uh, as it were, or is it all kind of all inclusive, or is it just like traditional medicine where you you specialize, say in uh, as you mentioned, uh, uh, pediatrics or uh, in geriatrics, uh, something like that. There are definitely specialty routes that you can take. It, it really depends on, on which state that you decide to practice in. Um, uh, you say I, it I, depends on which state you decide to practice in? Yeah, there's, each state has different um, rules regarding chiropractors. Um, like in the state of Kentucky, the only specialty that you can actually say that you specialize in would be radiology or like orthopedics, something like that. So mm -hmm. you can't really say, well, I specialize in pediatrics or anything like that. Uh, okay. And in other states that you can. But they had um, courses that you could do a lot of um, extra work. Like they had a pediatric uh, program that you could go into. Mm -hmm. And I did a lot of um, soft tissue programs. Mm -hmm. So I kind of say that I specialized in soft tissue. Okay. So it's um, soft tissue. Um, it's like above and beyond a massage uh, type of therapy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you train in massage therapy as well? Is that part of chiropractic? Or are they two totally separate disciplines? Uh, you could say they're two uh, separate disciplines, but we did learn in some of the soft tissue courses that I took, we did learn some different massage techniques. Now, now um, 
you said that you fell in love with the, the laying on of the hands of, of the patients. Um, how much uh, mm -hmm. of chiropractic involves uh, manual um, manipulation and how much uh, involves mechanical manipulation? And were there always an, an intermingling of the two with chiropractic being a new discipline? Or am I wrong in that assumption that is chiropractic new at all? Well, chiropractic's been around for a long, long time. It's gotten to be more known the, the past, you know, more recently. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, manual adjusting, this at Logan, um, you were taught a uh, diversified technique, which is a completely manual adjustment. There's no instrument adjusting at all. Mm -hmm. So that is the uh, primary hands-on technique that you learn, and that's the majority of how we adjust at the office. Mm -hmm. um, but then you take special classes for your instrument technique. So... Again, it's more like a specialty. It's more of an elective. And I did um, a technique called activator technique, which is a strictly instrument adjustment. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, unlike uh, traditional medicine, where a lot of uh, a lot of drugs are are used, you know, as par for the course. Uh, when it comes mm -hmm. to taking care of yourself, um, do you learn uh, techniques where you can take care of your your own adjustments or your own um, particular uh, problems through chiropractic? Yeah, the chiropractors, you know, in general, we, we tend to not use as many prescription uh, medications on in a whole. Mm -hmm. um, we always, you know, if I if I had a headache, I'm going to get adjusted first before I would take some Tylenol. Um, that's pretty much the what what, what we do. Um, so, and then there's just there's different protocols for stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now, um, would you have to get another? Chiropra a doctor of chiropractic to adjust you or could you do it yourself? I mean, because a traditional doctor, like you say, can take, they can take their right. own prescription. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, they can, well, they can, you know, suture themselves, you know, if they get a cut on their, on right. their you know, if they're right-handed, they get a cut on their left hand, they can suture themselves up. Is that the same with chiropractic mm -hmm. or do you have to get someone else? Well, there's certain parts of your body that would be really hard to adjust yourself to get mm -hmm. the right right line of drive. So it always feels better when somebody else does it. Uh -huh. And I guess it's safer too. Yeah. Yeah. Now you do say that the chiropractic has been around a long time. Um, is it considered alternative medicine? Is it considered Eastern medicine or um, is it, does it stand alone? I would consider it an alternate uh, holistic type of medicine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there uh, is there much nutrition training involved? Uh, I know that there's not a lot of nutrition training that goes on uh in the halls of, of traditional medicine. What about chiropractic? There are certain nutrition courses that we were taught, um, but again, it was more of a, an elective type approach. But mm -hmm. chiropractors do do a lot of nutrition, mm -hmm. um, like like anti-inflammatory type diet or certain vitamins that will help with muscle right. spasms. So we do a lot of that that goes hand in hand with our adjustments. Okay, so you're saying that the, the supplements, uh, dietary supplements, are, go hand mm -hmm. in hand with chiropractic? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So sort of uh, sort of like traditional medicine has their uh, pharmaceuticals, um, mm -hmm. chiropractic has supplements that uh, enhance the body's natural uh, proclivity to, you know, produce certain uh, nutrients or in the foods that we eat. Is that why uh, some of the nutrition was taught to be uh, go hand in hand with supplement training as well? Exactly. All right. Uh, as we wrap up, I'd like to... Uh, let uh, let our listeners know that uh, you are practicing now in uh, the state of Kentucky, uh, in uh, mm -hmm. in I guess it would be Central Kentucky, uh, Georgetown, Kentucky. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, and um, I guess you're you're loving your practice, and um, you plan on doing it as you say for the rest of your life. It's that it's that good oh, thing for you. Yeah. Absolutely. I actually one of the rare people that actually enjoy getting up in the morning and going to work. That's right. If you if you find something like that, it's never a job, right? Exactly. Exactly. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. We've been in studio today talking with Dr. Sarah Horsley, a doctor of chiropractic, graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in biology at Moorhead State University, and uh, shortly thereafter um, graduated uh, with a degree in chiropractic from Logan University in St. Louis. And we've been here talking about why she chose uh, chiropractic as opposed to traditional medicine and why she chose to specialize in, in what she chooses to specialize, which is soft tissue manipulation. It's been great having you here with us today, Dr. Horsley. Thank you. Thank you so much. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm and subscribe to our podcast on iTunes.